ట్వంటీ ఫోర్త్ జులై సండే మా కాలేజ్లో జరిగిన మోడ్యులర్ అనాటమికా అనాటమీ మోడల్ మేకింగ్ కాంపిటీషన్లో మేము ఎన్నో ఇన్నోవేటివ్ వేస్లో తయారు చేసిన మా మోడల్స్ని ప్రజెంట్ చేసాం వీళ్ళంతా నా క్లాస్మేట్స్ ఈ కాంపిటీషన్లో పార్టిసిపేట్ చేయడానికి వేరే మెడికల్ కాలేజ్ నుంచి స్టూడెంట్స్ వాళ్ళ మోడల్స్ని ఎంతో జాగ్రత్తగా వెన్యూకి తీసుకొస్తున్నారు ఈ కాంపిటీషన్ మా కాలేజ్ రిసెప్షన్ హాల్లో జరిగింది వెన్యూ హాల్లో కాంపిటీషన్ కి కావాల్సిన అరేంజ్మెంట్స్ అన్ని చేయడంలో మాకు ఎంతగానో హెల్ప్ చేసిన వాళ్ళు వీళ్ళే Found the one you should never give her up I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah I surround my soul with the positivity That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah These days I don't worry about much I think we should have some more fun I still dream about the days when we were young I'll take a hit and still finish Team members under gather ali వాళ్ళ మోడల్స్ ని డిస్ప్లే చేయడానికి కావాల్సిన ప్రిపరేషన్స్
find the one, you should never give her up I think it's the way life changes when it love yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see yeah. These days I don't worry about much I think we should have and director general PG sir made up some other instructions regarding the competition. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Memory lane isn't that too far away from the woods. Yeah, yeah. Once we keep close, we should never let so go. So plastic thing, thermo coli use take on a pretty model. It's a yard chess. Yellow topic, we choose chess coli. Ella present chiali. Anima ko guidance is china ma madam. Dr. Swati Purnima, HOD of Anatomy Department. Uh, this is Dr. Swati Purnima, Professor in Head, Department of Anatomy from Pinumian Sishrata. So you have uh, seen in the video how our students have focused these models and all these models are being innovative and I have to tell you that all the material used in the models was biodegradable material and I am happy that our students were quite innovative and uh, they have used all their interest and have uh, hope this is one sort of a learning experience to all these students. I use them to have more and more such learning experience through our new approaches towards teaching and learning. Do like and share this video and do subscribe to my channel. And now the presentation begins. Hi, this is Pratyusha from Team Iotica. Over here is Yashishvi, Sindhu, Vasvi, and the one who is recording is Yukta. She is also our team member. Now, Vasvi is going to explain our model. Hi, this is Vasavi and I am now going to explain the topic of ours is development of aortic arches. And these are the two developmental stages of aortic arches and the last one leads to formation of arch of aorta. What is made by Yukta? That's Yeah, that's me. With my teammates. development of aortic arches in embryo there embryo in embryo there leads to formation of ventral aorta and the dorsal aorta aortic arches are the ones which connect the ventral aorta and dorsal aorta there are six aortic arches 1 2 3 4 6 and fifth one disappears derivatives of aortic arches first two disappears in the early ages the remnants of first one leads to formation of hyo hyoid artery maxillary, maxillary artery the first one leads to formation of maxillary artery the second one remnants of second one leads to formation of hyoid and stapedial artery and the third one leads to formation of common carotid artery on the left and right side uh, then the fourth one on the fourth one leads to mainly formation of arch of aorta and the sixth one leads to formation of pulmonary trunk this is finally the arch of aorta and its branches bronchocephalic artery common left common carotid artery left subclavian artery descending aorta and ascending aorta thank you my name is b yuvatarun i am from guntur medical college in accordance to the model making competition held by pinamani siddhartha medical college i hereby provide a model representing the muscles and skeleton of palm we usually get confused between the muscle layers of palm So I made a model in which muscle layers can be easily differentiated layer by layer. I would like to thank you for providing me this platform to present this. This is the model making of the brachial plexus. I am Vignesh, Pirsha, Bavita, Jayant and Akbar Ali. This brachial plexus are formed from the roots of the C5, C6, C7, C8 and T1. C5 and C6 are coordinated to form the upper trunk and C7 is formed into middle trunk and C8 and T1 are coordinated to form the lower trunk and these are these trunks are continued as divisions and these divisions are continued as cords and cords are continued as branches thank you hello everyone we are from the osteo squad representing myself jignesh kilari hema sri and sneha sri we are going to tell you about the blood supply of long bone this is the blood this is the long bone and here is the blood supply the to, the long bones receive a total of 5 to 10% of the total cardiac output if we take the average cardiac output to be 5 liters then the long bone receives 250 ml to 500 ml of blood 
this 250 to 500 ml of blood is received to the long bones through four kinds of arteries nutrient arteries metaphyseal arteries epiphyseal arteries and periosteal arteries here metaphyseal arteries is the most vascular part of the because it receives a, the, it, uh, anastomosis with both epiphyseal arteries and and nutrient arteries and the periosteal arteries uh, the periosteal arteries uh, enter the wolfman's canal and they supply one by third of the diaphysis and uh, one by third of the diaphysis and compact bone. The nutrient artery supplies the bone marrow, one third of the diaphysis and compact bone. The metaphyseal arteries uh, enter from the joint anastomosis of the and uh, penetrate the metaphysis. Uh, venous. Uh, thank you very much. And now my friend Sneha Sri will continue about the types of bones. Hi, I'm Sneha from the Osteo Squad. I'm here to explain about the types of bones. So basically, bones are classified into five types on the basis of their structural classification. They are long bones, flat bones, irregular bones, short bones, and uh, sesamoid bones. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Today, I, along with my team, Stereostenia, are here to present on the topic mediastinum. And my friend will continue from here. Hi, today our topic is mediastinum. And this is the mediastinum. Uh, the mediastinum is divided into two parts mainly superior mediastinum and inferior mediastinum starting from the um, sternal angle to the lower vertebrae lower border of T4 vertebrae the inferior mediastinum is further divided into three parts namely anterior mediastinum middle mediastinum and posterior mediastinum the middle mediastinum is mostly covered with the heart surrounded by the pericardium and uh, the materials used for this uh, project are uh, discussed by my friend the materials used for this project are clay uh, coir and the cardboard egg tray and toothpicks. Please subscribe to United Colors. Our team name is Cabaludo. We have done the topic of scalp. My team members' names are Himaja, Shweta, Lakshmi, Bhavya, and Chinmaya. These are the scalp players. We have done the, this model with clay, paper, and uh, chart, threads. Uh, scalp consists of five layers pericranium, skin, superficial fascia, loose areola tissue and pericranium, epicranial eponeurosis. I'm Ashuta and this is my friend Srihari. We are team Pridayam and our topic is development of heart. This model is made of clay. Okay, my name is Kavya. My name is Geeta. My name is Vaishnavi. My name is Travya. My name is Pandana. So our topic name is anatomical planes. So, as a team, we worked on anatomical planes. We made a 3D model to show all the plane or to show all the planes. Uh, the the plane. first one is the mid-sagittal plane, and then this is the coronal plane, and this one is the transverse plane, and then this one is the bleak plane. So yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye. Hi everyone. Uh, this is my group, Vises, and these are my group members: Lakshmi, Chandrika, Vashita, and Gautami. Our topic is blood supply to face and nervous supply to the face. Blood supply to the face is by arterial supply and venous supply. Arterial supply is by facial, facial artery and transverse artery, transverse facial artery and superficial temporal artery. Internal, it's a branch of internal carotid artery and it's a venous supply of face. And here we can find we found the dryness from the supratropia and supraorbital and these are the retromandibular anterior division and posterior posterior division and this posterior division combines with the posterior auricular to form an external jugular vein model and now supply and we can see now supply this side and now supply now see yellow color represent we are representing yellow as a nerve supply and red as the arterial supply blue as a venous supply facial supply facial blood supply and nerve supply we represented here Hmm. Cloth. Uh, this is a cloth arterial supply. Okay. Stitching, it's a stitching. And this in is also now supply. supply. In our supply, there is motor supply. Motor supply, sorry. Motor supply and sensory supply. This is motor supply, which is by facial now and its branches, and it's a trigeminal supply. It's also by uh, sensory supply of now. Thank you. This is Maheshwari. This is Akanksha. This is Tanmay and this is Likita. Our group is our group name is Bosoms, representing a memory gland. So here is our 3D picture of memory gland. We had made it with clay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Also, it's our 2D model. 
uh, we had made it with clay and also some dal green we used green fibers and yeah we used lit yes yes so our group name is bosoms representing a breast that is mammary gland bosoms is nothing but breast in other language thank you our group name is tesserus anatomicans and our topic is compound epithelium our group consists of five members sanjana anvita geetika rihana and vasanti it is mainly made up of uh, epithelium uh, types mainly the transitional epithelium stratified squamous keratinized stratified squamous non keratinized stratified cuboidal cuboidal epithelium uh, the central one is the model of skin which is an example of stratified squamous keratinized epithelium thank you hi this is from group caledon caledon is nothing but cubital fossa it is an anatomical area transition present between arm and forearm uh, it has a uh, important clinical significance like brachial artery puncture and we draw blood from median cubital vein hi guys this is deepthi and she is pavitra she is vandana and she is ramya these are our teammates and today our topic is the superficial palmar atrial arch as you can see here and the main function of the superficial palmar atrial arch is to supply blood for the phalanges interpharyngeal joints and the metapharyngeal joints uh, Thank you. Bye bye. Hello everyone. We are group of five, and my name is Vaishnavi, and her name is Maunika, and her name is Shavya. Her name is Hema Priya. Our project was facial muscles, and our group name is Walters. Walters is a Latin word which means face or expressions. Here is our project. It will show. It is showing all the facial muscles, and these are responsible for our expressions. In our view, afterwards the expression makes a man. Thank you. Hi everyone. This is Team Grizzle. Uh, Grizzle is the anatomical synonym of cartilage. We have done histology slides of cartilage. There are three types of cartilage: hyaline cartilage, elastic cartilage, and fibrous cartilage. Hi, this is Heman. This is Satya. This is Kaval. I'm Indira. I'm Rashmita. Uh, the basis of our model is we mostly use dry fruit as our project. We've used walnuts for cellulose and hyaline cartilage. We have used anjir as chondrocytes. and almonds as our cells sit and this is the pyramid of cartilage yeah exactly uh those are almonds anjir anjir and cotton is uh, representing the elastic fibers thank you our group name is otrians and consists five members deepthi anisha mohita jashwant and kushwan and our topic is about arteries arteries are two types elastic artery and muscular arteries arteries have three layers tunica intima tunica media and tunica advancia these two are differentiated by the tunica advancia tunica advancia in elastic arteries have more elastic fibers and in muscular artery tunica media has with more smooth muscle fibers and the elastic fibers least hello this is pranay and this is namrata this is tarunya and we are done posterior triangle this is our posterior triangle let's Hello everyone. This is Pranita. This is Sahitya, and this is Harshita Aluri. Our team is Karina. Bronco pulmonary segments. With what material did you make this? We made it with uh, scalp clay. Thank you. Thank you. This is Harvest Makers team. Myself, Sharon Princey. She is Shreya, and she is Priyanka, and she is Shansha. And our topic is external features of heart. This is the heart, and it has. We prepared 3D model. with clay and tissue papers we use it has an apex base base is formed by both atriums and this is arch of aorta this is superior vena cava this is inferior vena cava and this is the 2d structure of heart hi we are team thanatos i'm jivika that's vamsi krishna this is uh, shanti priya she is naga harshini and that's vinay kumar and we've created a model of the nerve supply of hand that will be showing the nerve supply to the dorsal aspect as well as the palmar aspect of the hand we've used clay for the base and we've used yellow wool to represent the nerves the purple area you can see over here is the radial nerve the green area is the ulnar nerve and uh, the dark green area represents the median nerve good afternoon everyone this is balaji kartik presenting you the model of the conducting system of the i made this by using black soil conducting system of has five components is sa node internodal branches av node bundle of his and purkinje fibers so you need sa node 
This is SA node. SA node. AV node. SA node is also called a pacemaker. This, gen gen this generates its own impulse to maintain the heartbeat. Pacemaker is as important. AV node is also called a secondary pacemaker. Action. Yes, the internodal branches make a connection between the SA node and the AV node. After this, the, from the AV node, bundle of fish is formed. Bundle of fish is divided into left, left and right bundle branches. Bundle of, bundle of is further divided into the Purkinje fibers. Purkinje fibers innervate to the ventricles of the wall, which are helpful the, for the contraction of the heart. Thank you. Our team name is Palmon, and our topic is development of lung. The third week of intrauterine life, a respiratory diverticulum develops from the foregut. It extends down and bifurcates into two prim, uh, bronchial buds. At fourth week, it develops into primary bronchial buds, and the upper tube forms the larynx and trachea. At fifth week, it divides into secondary bronchi or lobar bronchi. On the right side, it it is of three types: superior, middle, and inferior. The level. At the left side, it, it is divided into superior and inferior lobar bronchi. At sixth week, it further divides to form tertiary bronchi and respiratory bronchioles. And at eighth week, the eighth week, the complete lung is formed. That is the histology of developing lung. Biodegradable clay, cardboard, paper. Thank you. I'm Sapina. I'm Shireen. I'm Kusuma. I'm Funny. I'm Ganesh. Our topic is histology of bone. This is the longitudinal section and this is the transfer section of bone. Uh, this, uh, we use biodegradable materials like wool and uh, cardboard. We got a name osteon because the main functional unit of bone is Haversian system, which is also called osteons, hence the name osteons. Thank you. Hi, my name is Rabia. Myself, Akila. My name is Afrin Sheikh. And we represent Team Shield Day Lymphatican. The topic we got for today is lymphatic system. So lymphatic system is an organ system which is a part of immune system and complementary to circulatory system. Talking about the primary lymphoid organs, we have thymus and bone marrow. The secondary lymphoid organs are spleen and lymph nodes. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to the group Tunicans. Here we are our captain G. Kushal Kumar and our member M. Leela Krishnasai and it's me S. Akit. So this is our topic, Histology of Blood Brothers. And here is our model. Here is our model. Storage of blood vessels. This is this is the model of artery, and this is the model of large vein. And here we have different layers. In the pale pink layer, here pale pink layer is tunica adventia, and the dark pink layer is tunica media. And these two collectively called as tunica intima. And the blue layer is subendothelial division of tunica intima, and the red layer is tunica uh, endothelial layer of the tunica intima. And here we can see a small lumen which is narrower in artery, which is colored in orange color, and here, as same as artery, here we can see same layers in the veins, tunica adventia, these two collectively called as tunica media, and these two collectively called as tunica intima, in the same subendothelial and the endothelial. Here we can see the difference between the artery and the vein. The lumen in the vein is more larger, larger than the, than the artery. Hence we can differentiate between the artery and vein. And this is a model, histology of blood vessels. Thank you. Thank you. Hi guys, I am Strength. These are my teammates, Stalin, Sartika, Rakshita and Likita. This is our topic, shoulder joint, and this is our group name, Arthrosians. Arthros means in Greek, joint. Uh, we made this model using sawdust, clay, cardboard, and uh, markers. Hi guys, uh, our group name is Numa, which means vital spirit, soul or creative force of a person. And this is our respiratory system. This is our model that we have made. And these are the histological models of at lung as well as trachea and lung we can see that there are alveoli and this is the simple squamous epithelium that we can see and this is the bronchiole and this is the respiratory bronchiole and these are the parts of the histology of lung and this chart shows us the histology of trachea trachea mostly consists of the serous cell here we can see this and the goblet cell and uh, mucus blanket 
And this is the stratified column, pseudo stratified columnar epithelium. And this is the basement membrane uh, and lamina propria that we can see, this brown color one, and the bronchial gland. This part consists of the bronchial gland as well as the smooth muscle, and these are the spindles of smooth muscle fibers. And uh, this is the cartilage. This blue one is the cartilage. And this is the connective tissue. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Here is the respiratory system. This is the conducting zone. And this is the respiratory zone. And uh, this is the cross-section of right lung. And this is the surfaces impressions openings of our left lung. This is the impression of uh, arch of iota. And these are the impressions of first rib and the carotid artery. These are openings of principal bronchi, pulmonary vein, pulmonary artery, bronchial arteries of left lung. And we can see the lingula of our left lung, uh, permanent ligament of our left lung and lingula. And this is the cardiac notch of our left lung. Thank you. Thank you.